This was not an honor killing. This was you being a bad father. Way of life as cute. Even in hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about Issa Gharib's honor killing that just recently took place. For those of you who don't know, my name is SQ and I'm just a regular Muslim dude who loves Islam and loves help people discover and identify their Islamic identities. This news just came to me regarding Isra's unexpected death. It was ruled to be an honor killing and I just want to address the entire issue because it's really disturbed me. So here's what happened. 21 year old Isra Gharib is Palestinian and was recently recently killed in Bethlehem. This 21 year old was hanging out with her soon to be fiance with the permission of her mother and when she recorded a story and put it on Instagram and then her cousin seen it and got really upset. Now the cousin seen the story and he didn't like the fact that she was hanging out with someone who was non Now It wasn't really non mahram but rather they felt like it was going to be a disgrace to the family. So this cousin went out and snitched to her dad. Cousin snitched, went, found the dad and just sort of stirring up the issue and getting the dad all hype. So after he got the dad hype, he had to get other people hype as well. So he got the brothers, the cousins, the father, and the brother-in-law to all get together in a massive rage and go and confront Isra. After the cousin hyped it all up, the men confronted Isra in which then they started to beat her. And I'm talking about beating her so bad that she was willing to jump from a two-story house and flee them in which she fell down and fractured her back. She clearly felt threatened for her life that she was willing to jump out of a window thinking she had more chance of survival from a two-story jump than actually surviving the men in her house who were about to possibly even kill her. She was then rushed to the hospital and where she was confronted by those men again while she was in the hospital. Now let's take a look at the sound clip. As you can see, she is super distressed, screaming, and the family is trying to make it seem like she was possessed. She needed Rokia, and this was just a Rokia session gone wrong. Well, in fact, that's not what happened. And this is something that we've realized that whenever someone can't explain something or something that will bring shame to the family, people want to blame or bring a jinn involved. No, this is parenting. This is a parenting issue, and this is you doing zulm on her, and now you're blaming some jinn. And even the jinn is just like, I didn't do that. I want to be clear. This was done because because people are worried about what other people will think. Possibly the cousin had a crush on her. He didn't like the fact that she was with another guy. We all know those groups of aunties and uncles who sit around and gossip and talk about the latest tea in the town. And when you find out your daughter's on a story on Instagram and she is with someone who's going to be her fiance, the father, the cousin didn't want to be the tea of the town that other people are talking about. They are genuinely embarrassed about this and they want to prevent such further embarrassment. So to prevent himself and his family from being the talk of the town, he is officially the talk of the entire globe now. The reasons were that they were afraid of their parenting being judged. He was afraid that his level of parenting and the quality of his parenting was going to be judged by others if they had seen this video. Well now the whole world is judging your parenting so let's see how you feel about that. You feel as if you don't act now, you will be considered less of a man. But you don't think you're less of a man by hitting a woman, not just any woman, your daughter that you carried in your own hands and arms? And unfortunately, you felt that like you went way too far and that the only way to end the entire thing was to actually kill this young lady. You realized that your actions went too far. There was no coming back from this. The truth is you failed her as a father. Islam doesn't need you to honor it. Islam honors you. Oh man, by protecting and doing the right things and upholding the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Islam will honor you. It will raise you. Don't ever think that you need to raise Islam or honor Islam. This was not an honor killing. This was you being a bad father. The mother knew about this fiance, but you didn't know about this fiance. Why? Because you created such a toxic, disgusting, poisonous environment in your home that your daughter did not feel comfortable telling you about this person that she wanted to marry. You felt as if the whole world and your family's plot against you that everyone knew about this fiance but
but you. So you were embarrassed and your ego was hurt as a man. You failed her as a father because you didn't create enough safe space in the house so that she could talk to you about someone that she cared about and someone that she wanted to marry. Can you imagine this? 21 years ago or so, you were holding this little girl, promising her the world, promising to take care of her, and those same hands that was holding her the entire time ended up killing her. Now the family is confirming and saying that, hey, this was not an honor killing, but she died from an aneurysm or from a heart attack caused by whom? In this honor killing of yours, you've dishonored yourself and you've dishonored your family and shame on the family for covering up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us to speak the truth even if it calls you to witness against yourself. So families out there, stop protecting each other. Speak the truth. Your daughter deserves more than this. Don't let your daughter's death go in vain. Don't let it be something forgotten. Let this be the change the world needs and understand that we cannot continue to treat women like this. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commands us to treat women with respect. And you doing such a thing is not only dishonoring Islam, is dishonoring what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has taught us. So please, I'm not asking you for thumbs up, likes, this and that. I just want you to share this video. I want you to spread awareness that honor killings is not a part of Islam and what they did was wrong and this man was a bad father and who was just worried about people's opinions rather than trusting his own child. So please share this message. Tell me in the comment section below your feedback, your thoughts, and please, please, please make a dua for this young lady and for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide their family to the truth. Please spread a positive word and a positive message for this deceased late sister of ours. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her gentle for the dose. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.